Bluey, The Beach, read by your Nana. Bluey, Bingo, Mom and Dad are off to the beach. Beach! They set up the tent, roll around in the sand, and then race to the water. Bluey and Bingo pretend the waves are trying to splash them. Here comes a big one. Mom is off for a walk along the beach. Why do you like walking by yourself? Asks Bluey. I'm not sure, says Mum. I just do. See you soon, little mermaid. What a strange answer, Bluey thinks. Not long after, she finds a beautiful shell and asks to show Mum. All right, off you go, says Dad. Whoa, whoa. For real life, says Bluey, all by myself? Dad nods. Just don't go in the water. Bingo waves her hands all over Bluey's tail. Bluey laughs. I am the mermaid who got her legs. Woo! Legs! Mum is now a tiny orange speck. Hmm, Bluey frowns. Maybe I'll just stay here with you and Dad. But little mermaid, you can follow Mum's footsteps, says Bingo. Oh yeah, Bluey grins. Thanks. Bluey hops from one footprint to another. She runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until she comes across a flock of seagulls. Um, can you please move? Bluey asks politely. It's a good thing mermaids aren't scared of seagulls. Ruff, ruff. Bluey laughs as she hops from one footprint to another. She runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until a big wave sneaks up and crashes into the shore. It takes Mum's footprints out to sea. Oh, you cheeky wave, Bluey barks. How will I find Mum now? Just as Bluey begins to lose hope, she spots a pip coming up for wee-wees. A crab scuttles past. Bluey copies its funny sideways walk. Pinchy, pinchy. Ha, I am the mermaid who got her crab legs. Ah! Bluey scampers away. She runs and runs, then skids to a stop. A jellyfish? How will I get past? She picks up a stick and pokes the blue blob. It wobbles hello. Ha <laughs> you can't sting me, jellyfish. I am the mermaid who got her legs, but only for a day. Bluey races ahead. Look at this amazing shell, she calls, but Mum's still too far away to hear. Better keep going. Mum! Bluey runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until she comes across an old castle. Perhaps this is where all the other mermaids lived, she thinks, and leaves her stick as a present. Then she slowly backs away and bumps right into a pelican. Ah! Bluey begins to think she had enough of walking by herself. She looks back at Dad, but he's just a tiny blue speck. If I can't go backwards and I can't go forwards, what am I going to do? Bluey remembers the seagulls and the crabs and the pelicans. If she got past them, maybe she can get past a pelican too. She summons every bit of courage. After all, a little mermaid has got to be brave. I am the mermaid who got her legs, but only for a day. Then she tips toes around the pelican. The pelican beats his great big wings and flies away. Thank you for moving, Mr. Pelican. A familiar voice floats towards Bluey. She gasps and spins. Mom, Bluey. Bluey holds a shell to Mum's ear. It has the whole beach inside it. Bluey and Mum head back together. I love walking by myself, says Bluey. Oh yeah? Why is that? asks Mum. Bluey thinks, that's a hard question. I don't know. I just do. I hope you like that story, and I will read to you again soon. I love you so much.